Smith with the jazzandbrand.com here with the amazing little mama. How you doing, baby girl? I'm feeling good. Good. So we know you as the voice of the young people. And you know, you always got something to say. So I was interested in what you had to say regarding what's going on in Ferguson right now, over in St. Louis with the riots and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or any of my platforms, I haven't, um, I haven't spoken out on it yet. And my reason for not speaking out on it, speaking out on it yet, is because I feel as artists, uh, a lot of times, you know, we tweet or we post a picture of something, and then that's pretty much it. I'm just tr still trying to figure out what I can do to actually help, what I can do that would change, you know, what's happening because it's not just Ferguson, it's Florida, it's New York, it's LA, it's all over. Like our sons are being murdered by police officers and they're getting away with murder, you know, whether it be, oh, we're going to suspend you for a week, we're going to take your gun and then you can come back to work or you live, you don't, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And um, so it's bigger than an Instagram post, bigger than a tweet. Yeah. It's about action, right? Yeah, it is. And, and you know, I, I think I'll get around to that. But I think it um, I think it really sits really heavy on me right now, to be honest with you. And um, when I see Mike Brown, I see my brothers. I see my younger brother. When I see Trayvon Martin, who shares a birthday with one of my younger brothers, wow. I see him. And I'm at a point now where I'm scared for all of you guys I'm scared for us because as women we're facing challenges where we have voices in the media who don't really represent our souls our spirits the things that we believe in the things that we want to say and it's okay to have a good time but it's like it's all play and, and and there's no teaching going on there's no message being sent like hey you know I'm having a good time but protect yourself or you know I, I just don't see it and my frustration goes beyond this one event and and, and it's just very um, uneasy with me I understand so I know that right now uh, you're being managed by light so tell me how did that collaboration come into play and how is that going um, well a lot of people will compare me to light like, oh my god yeah. And a lot of people will compare her to me, like, hey, you know, you remind me of Light, or people will come up to her and say, there's a young girl, she reminds me of you. And um, I think when we met, we just had an instant connection for mentorship. I think mentorship can be rushed sometimes. There were other people in the industry who I really look up to. Like, I look up to Jada Pinkett. Mm -hmm. She provides me with mentorship here and there. Uh, uh, Regina King. Um, Wendy Raquel, people compare me to Wendy Raquel a lot and she's embraced me, but with light, it's like a constant force and it's something that couldn't be forced. It was very organic and that's how I think it all happened with, you know, her genuine interest in helping me. How does Little Mama feel about Little Mama? And before you answer that, I'm talking about the little girl from New York who's living her dream. You've done the movies, you've done the EPs, you've done the dance, you've choreographed. You're on this red carpet tonight. How does Little Mama feel about Little Mama's journey? Oh. Um, I feel like I'm just getting started. Uh, I had a few bumps in the road and if I could turn back the hands of time, I wouldn't change any of my obstacles. I would change my reaction. And because it's not that serious. And you know, you got to get up and you got to fight. You know, that's for her and that's for her out there that's that's coming with it. And there's another little mama coming with it and and I hope she's stronger than I was. I hear that. Okay, last question before you go. I know right now we're in Hollywood right now. We do a lot of fancy things. We eat our sushi and all that, but can we ever see you eating a ramen noodle? Do you still do hood stuff? What little mama do that's hood? Yeah, I eat ramen noodles. Um, it's also a, a Moroccan. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, the Moroccan? You better go. You go better work. Because I know. The chicken hot and spicy. I love it. Better go off. I love it. Got about 10 of those in my cabinet right now. <laughs> I'm really into Asian dishes. I also like udon noodles, mm -hmm. um, soup. I don't know if you ever tried that, but you I should try that. The noodle is a little thicker. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. It's about $2. You know, and a it's couple, little, little polar sausage, too. Yeah, it's a little, too, it's a little uh, okay. expensive compared to the ramen, yes, but you know. Is. No, but it's um, it's actually really delicious. I, I My mother used to always crunch up the pack before mm. she put it in the I water. Don't play that. So I still like crunch up the pack sometimes. Or or just crack it in half yes. so it can still be long. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, I just I'm into texture. I think I'm a cook, so you know. I love it. Well, thank you so much for talking to us here at the JasmineBrand.com. We love you. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you.